Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Aset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button, smack the bell that's right next to the button, uh, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up, leave us a positive comment in the comment section, and pass it on to somebody else who might need to see this as well. Also, please stay to the end of the video because I'm going to read out two of my favorite comments from the previous videos, okay? So stick around to see if it's your comment. So, um, <laughs> I was talking to somebody over the weekend and um, I was like, I got to tell my subscribers about this because I know some of y'all know, but some of y'all need to know, okay? I was talking to somebody over the weekend and they were telling me about these comments that an Aquarius made to them. These were very kind comments, um, but I noticed something about them and I noticed something about a lot of Aquarius, maybe not all of us, but many of us got game. Ooh, we got game. <laughs> An Aquarius, oh my God, will finesse you. I mean, an Aquarius will finesse you out of almost anything. It depends on how manipulative the Aquarius is. Because a higher vibrational Aquarius like me is not going to use it, but we know how. Because we know how to finesse people. We know how to persuade people. We know what to say and do to get people to do the things that we want. So depending upon how manipulative you are, you can use that negatively or positively. You could use your powers of persuasion like I do to try and encourage people to better themselves and better their lives and better their circumstances. That's pretty much what I do. <laughs> I try to encourage people to live better and have better and be happier. And I use my powers of persuasion, the way that I word things or my energy to try to get that across in person or on video or on the phone or whatever. But an Aquarius who's low vibrational is not going to be thinking that big. <laughs> They're, and a low vibrational Aquarius is more selfish so they have a tendency really to think more about themselves and the lower vibrational Aquarius that have a cause, they might try to use their powers of persuasion to help their cause, you know, because even some of the lowest vibrational Aquarius that I've met have still had a cause. A lot of Aquarius have just some kind of something that they're champion, you know, like save the wells or save the trees or, you know, people or it's always some kind of cause, you know, and it's usually a good thing. So even an Aquarius who isn't that high vibrating, a lot of times will at least have that, but they'll use their powers of manipulation and persuasion towards that thing, which I'm like, okay, all right, that's one thing. But a lot of times their methods are questionable because <laughs> if you don't have a problem manipulating, your methods are always often at least going to be questionable. So Aquarius have this with my, mo my mother, my grandmother, they would call it a silver tongue devil, you know, the gift of gab, you know, I know, I've, I know Aquarius who can talk your draws off, <laughs> you know, they don't even have to do anything. Just, they can just talk and people be like, um, okay, I'm ready. You know, like some Aquarius are really that silver tongued as we'll call it. So I want y'all to know that because some of y'all be getting gamed up. <laughs> some of y'all be getting gamed up. I'm telling you, people say things to me, they write things in the comment section, or they send me an inbox, and I'm looking like the Aquarius said, what? <laughs> yeah, okay. So some of y'all be falling for the Gerby Gerb. That's what I call Gerby Gerb. When somebody's spitting game, they're basically they're manipulating you with their words. That's what we'll call it. And when you fall for it, you fall for the Gerby Gerb. So you have to really, when you're talking to an Aquarius, especially if you don't know the Aquarius, or if you know it's a low vibrational Aquarius, you gotta really listen carefully to what they be talking about. Cause they talk a good one. They talk a good one. 
but it's all bullshit. <laughs> it's all bullshit because they're able to talk it, but they can't walk it. And this is usually when people find out it's bullshit because they'll talk a good one, but then they can't back it up with any actual action. But by then it's too late. <laughs> by then you've already fallen for it. So what you have to do is, number one, if you know an Aquarius and you don't know them that well, you have to fall back and you can't, like, I would not give all of the trust to any person, not even just an Aquarius. When you first meet somebody, remember I told you guys about the 90 day rule. You shouldn't trust them immediately. They have to prove that they are trustworthy. I noticed some people like to go with the whole innocent until proven guilty. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's going to get you in bad situations. You got to just realize I don't know this person and I have to see through their behavior patterns if they are trustworthy or not. You have to just not reserve judgment. You see, You're, it's a it's a fact finding mission. You want to sit back, get to know them and see what's there, not assume what's there. So when you meet this Aquarius or you meet this person, anything that they say out their mouth up front, you need to see some action behind before you start believing the things that they tell you. You need to see some action behind their words. Now, if they always walk their talk then that's somebody you can trust because the things that they're telling you, you're watching them actually do those things. But you're not going to know that at first. You're not going to know that in the first, um, not even really, to be honest, in the first 90 days. It's going to take a while to really know that you can trust somebody. And most people that I see that get into bad situations, it's because they didn't do that. They just trusted immediately instead of letting the person prove that they were capable of trust. So that flip around, and this is for anybody you meet that's brand new, that flip around is really going to be important. You have to see them. You have to get to know them. You have to watch them. You have to interact with them. You know, you have to see them in bad times and good times. You have to see what this person is. And a lot of people jump. They jump too fast. So as I was saying before, I'm saying all this because I see a lot of people getting played. I see Aquarius playing a lot of people and I'm just sitting there shaking my head because as an Aquarius, I can see the game. <laughs> I can see the game from across the street. I'm like, ooh, oh my, you know, and the person who's engaging in it, I can see them falling for it and I'm just standing there shaking my head. Ever since I was four years old, I knew consciously that you could manipulate people to get the things that you want from them. I knew sometimes it worked better than others, but I knew that it was possible since I was four. So imagine if a person is that aware so young and then you grow up figuring out how to use your abilities. Aquarius have all these psychic abilities. They have all, if you want to call it intuition, they have all these abilities so they can use those abilities for good or for not so good. And an Aquarius, again, like I said, who's low vibrational and not using their abilities for good. They're reading people. They're able to, you know, really finesse them because they know exactly what to say. A low vibrational Aquarius knows exactly what to say to get you to do what it is they want you to do. And what I'm saying is, is that a lot of people get their feelings hurt like that. A lot of people get played like that. A lot of people get in bad situations like that. One girl was telling me about how this Aquarius got her for some money. And that was how. Sitting back, reading her. And then playing his little manipulative game. So I'm saying this to y'all to be careful, number one. And number two, if you're an Aquarius, I know that... This is something that you figured out <laughs> when you were like this big. But the truth of the matter is, is that you should not be conning <laughs> and finagling people to get the things that you want from them. Try just asking for what you want. Because as I got older and more mature and my vibration got higher, I realized like, dag, that's not too cool. <laughs> and I started to realize it. And I'm like, well, how can I get what I want and not manipulate to get it? And the answer is by asking for it. 
Because if you're honest with most people and just ask for what you need, most of them will give it to you. And you don't have to go through this game. <laughs> you don't have to go through this game of manipulation of figuring out what to say to get what you want. All you got to say is the truth. I'm telling you, and it worked in all kinds of situations. Like, for example, I had this one person telling me, it was a guy. And he said that you can't just tell a woman the truth. This is what he told me. You can't just tell a woman the truth because she's not going to give you what you want. And I was like, that's not true because I've been telling women the truth for many, many eons now. And they still engage. <laughs> they still engage. And it, without drama at this point, when I was manipulating, it was all this drama, you know. But when I started just being honest and saying, look here, girl, this is the way it is. <laughs> this is who I am. This is what's up. And they were given the choice of getting to know me or not, not manipulated into knowing me the way I wanted them to. And they still, in most cases, would choose to. And now we're working from this foundation of honesty. Imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine being honest and still getting what you want. You can. Just ask for it. Straight up tell the truth. And lay down what it is you want, lay down what you're willing to do, and what you're not willing to do, and you still, in most cases, get what you want. When you get into trouble is when you try to lie and manipulate to get your way. So I wanted to point that out because I know a lot of people, either Aquarius, who are thinking that way <laughs> and being calculated and getting what they want that way, might not have realized that that's the hard way. And that there's easier ways to do it. I also don't want you to get played by an Aquarius. I was taught the person I was talking to over the weekend is clearly getting played, but I couldn't say that because the person, the Aquarius said what they said to make them feel better, you know, and the Aquarius already got this person wrapped around their finger. So me pointing it out, wasn't going to do nothing, but hurt that person's feelings. So I didn't say nothing. I just was like, mm, okay. But the truth of the matter is, is that I already knew. The, per the Aquarius is manipulating this person. The Aquarius is using the fuck out of this person, to be honest with you. But this person already knows that. <laughs> this, is not, uh, this is not a realization. This person knows, it's not a revelation. This person knows that. And what the Aquarius was saying to this person was something to make the person feel better and to continue the manipulation. But I knew if I pointed that out, the part that felt better, because, you know, he really needed that part. And I knew if I pointed that out, the part that felt better would make him feel worse. So I shut the fuck up <laughs> and I didn't say nothing. But I already know deep down inside that Aquarius got game. A lot of Aquarius got game. <laughs> so pay attention. <laughs> pay attention. If you have an Aquarius or if you meet an Aquarius, you start seeing an Aquarius, really pay attention. Okay. All right. Now we're going to talk about my favorite comments. All right. What we got today. Number one, the first comment came from Roslyn Cash. Hey, Roslyn. Roslyn said, have a happy Saturday. By the way, beautiful smile. On Saturday, I posted a picture of myself smiling. I did a meme of myself. Y'all know I'm silly. <laughs> so I did a meme of myself. And it said, how I sleep at night during the pandemic, knowing that the goddess got me. And it was me with my eyes closed, cheesing, you know. And um, I posted it because I wanted people to know that God has us. Goddess has us. Creator has us. Your ancestors have us, you know. I wanted people to know to have faith in your spiritual support. Whatever that is, it has you. Your higher self, Buddha, whoever, it has you. So I wanted people to know that I'm sleeping great knowing that Goddess has me. So thank you so much, Roslyn, for liking and for commenting and for commenting on my smile. <laughs> thank you so much. 
All right, now number two came from, I think this is Yusef Lopez. That's how I would read that. Um, it's Y-O. So I'm thinking it's Yusef or Yosef Lopez, one of the two. Um, and it says here that, uh, that Mr. Lopez has received one of the highest number of hearts from me. Mr. Lopez makes a lot of great comics, so I always give him hearts. And this one he said, he said, I feel like for natural shut-ins, not a single thing has changed. Laugh out loud. For those of us who don't go out a lot, this pandemic and social distancing and all of this kind of stuff, self-isolation, all these new words we got, I'm like, well, look at all these new terms. Um, all these kind of things, for those of us who don't go out a lot, really hasn't changed much. Um, a lot of us, it, either we're introverted or we just don't go out a lot. A lot of Aquarius are like that. A lot of Aquarius, we go out, but you know, we're homebodies, a lot of us. It depends on our age too. And sometimes it's not even age. Sometimes it's just how comfortable is home. Because when I was younger, I was never home. But looking back on it, home wasn't comfortable. So why would I want to be there, you know? So... Um, a lot of us are like this already. A lot of us are in. I know me personally, I work from home. I'm always here. <laughs> this is where I be at, you know? Um, the only time I'm not here is if I decide to go on vacation or if I'm shopping or something like that. But for the most part, I'm home. So a lot of things haven't changed. So when I'm online and people are like, oh my God, I'm so bored. I'm like, oh, I'm chilling. <laughs> you know, the only thing about it is I think the fear of catching, you know, the virus, I feel so much intense fear around like in the energy, you know, that's the one thing that definitely has changed. I never felt so much fear in my life. <laughs> so seriously, but as far as like being in the house, for those of us who are always in the house anyway, you know, it hasn't been a big difference. And I said to my friends, you wasn't going nowhere, no way. <laughs> Some of my friends are in every weekend. And I'm like, now y'all bitching about wanting to go out, but you've been in for the past 17 weekends. Girl, bye. <laughs> Not trying to hear it. All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. So if you would like to get a reading done, please email me and I will give you an appointment, okay? And come back soon because I have a lot more to say. See you later.